Welcome back to Cheddar's opening bell. Krispy Kreme partnering with Walmart to put the brand's donuts on store shelves for the first time ever. Joining us now is Krispy Kreme CMO Dave Skinna. Dave, it's great to have you with us this morning. I mentioned the first time that Krispy Kreme will be available in Walmart. Why make this move now? Oh, well, it's a great time for a lot of reasons. Uh, one of the big things is how can we bring more joy to the United States, <laughs> which is what we like doing. And our most frequent complaint is, why don't you have a shop near me? Well, we can't be everywhere, but with a CPG offering in Walmart, we can be everywhere. And so uh, that's exactly what we're doing. We're very glad that the timing worked out. We're very glad we'll be on store shelves everywhere. Why Walmart instead of Target or any of the other retailers out there? Well, there are obviously a lot of great retailers, but in addition to Walmart's reach uh, across the nation, they're also great partners in helping us. This is the first time we've stood up national distribution. Uh, Walmart uh, are certainly logistics experts and have been a great partner to us well beyond just putting products on the shelves. They've been a really good support partner in making sure we get our entire supply chain working well and up and running smoothly. Okay, so just to be clear, it's packaged donuts, right? Not necessarily fresh and hot off uh, the baking place. That's right. We haven't yet developed the technology to put a hot glazed donut in every box on every store shelf in the, in the country, but these are absolutely delicious uh, Krispy Kreme quality donuts that will be on store shelves and packaged for use in things like on the go snacking for kids lunch boxes, things like that. You know, that was one of the big things that, you know, we've been around 83 years. Why haven't we been in nationwide distribution before? And a big part of that is we want to make sure and wanted to make sure that we had the kind of Krispy Kreme quality that met the expectations of consumers before we did so. We finally got it figured out and we're on now. How is this expected to impact sales at Krispy Kreme? Uh, well, certainly it's going to be a positive for our consumer packaged goods sales. Um, this is the first time we've been. Uh, available nationally. And we also think it'll create a positive payload to our retail shop sales. I mean, the more folks are aware of the brand and if they try it in shop, they'll be interested in trying the consumer packaged goods, which serves a different occasion. If they try the to go snacks uh, from consumer packaged goods, we think they'll be more likely to visit a retail shop. So hopefully it's a very good uh, combination. Are you closing stores in any of these warm weathered states like Florida and Arizona where cases have been rising last week? Apple, for instance, announced that it was going to need to close some of its stores. We have been carefully monitoring and following all local uh, and national and state guidelines. We haven't had to close shops. Um, in some places, we do have to restrict them to either the drive through or pick up. Um, and so we really follow the, the situation locally. Uh, so that we can do the right thing to make sure we're being safe to our own employees and also to our guests. And Krispy Kreme planning a virtual grand opening this week. What's this all about? Well, you know, every time we open a shop, we have a grand opening and people sleep out for these things. I mean, people are really excited when we open a new shop and we thought, well, one, how can we do that nationwide? And two, how do we do it in a time of a uh, national pandemic? Those make it complicated, so we've done what so many people have done. We've, we've, we've turned to um, an online version of it. We usually have entertainment at these uh, types of things, and so this will be no exception. Uh, we'll be having uh, Shaquille O'Neal has had a long, uh, long association with the brand, um, and also some music and entertainment guests uh, and some fun things uh, for people to enjoy while we kick off and celebrate uh, our first nationwide push uh, here with Walmart. How did the company's business get impacted during the pandemic and how did the marketing budget change? Well, the, I think like everyone, around St. Patrick's Day, when things um, really, really um, got bad, uh, we, we were definitely impacted, but we thought about what can we do, not what can't we do. You know, we can't make respirators, we can't make surgical masks, but we can bring a lot of joy with what we do. And so that's what we focused on. How can we celebrate medical workers? How can we help people reach out to a neighbor remotely? How can we celebrate graduates? And so we've given well over 20 million donuts away in the process of, of trying to celebrate and bring joy uh, across America. And, uh, and that has been something that has, I think, kept folks interested in us. And, and we've given away a lot of love and joy. And, and we've been fortunate that we received it right back. So in terms of new products, are there any on the docket? 
There's always new products on the docket. You know, when we launch here in Walmart, we have two limited time only offerings there, both strawberry and lemon. And we'll be looking to constantly re refresh that line um, just to keep uh, some new flavors, seasonal flavors and so on in place. Uh, and of course, in both the retail shop and consumer packaged goods, we plan on having a lot of innovation. Uh, we've been known for that, uh, whether it's with our glazes or whether it's with um, w what we'll do with limited time only offerings in, in, in grocery stores. All right, Krispy Kreme CMO, Dave Skinner. Thanks so much, Dave.